All right. So finding ourselves in our chair, sitting ourselves up nice and tall, planting our feet on the floor. And let's go ahead and begin by rolling our shoulders back. So let's go and roll that out. And then go ahead and roll that forward. And roll it back. And roll that forward. Good. Go ahead and shrug our shoulders up to our ears. So give it a nice big shrug. Crunch that and then release that down. Oh, and let's do that again. Let's go ahead and shrug that up. And then release that down. And you might need to release those arms off to the side. Let's go ahead and drop our chin down towards our chest. And then lifting our head to center, eyes to sky. And chin to chest. And eyes to sky. And chin to chest. And eyes to sky. Good, head back to neutral. Let's look over to the right. As we are looking to the right, we're thinking about our chin, trying to get over towards our shoulder, but not moving that shoulder towards our chin. So keeping our shoulders down and back. And that means that we're also helping to keep our spine nice and tall. So chin going over towards that shoulder, head back to center, and then let's look over other side, chin to shoulder. And center, looking to the right again, chin to shoulder. And center, and then to the left, chin to shoulder. And center, good. Drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. Maybe release that left arm. And then head to center, and same thing, other side. Dropping left ear to left shoulder, and maybe release that right arm. Good, head back to center. Drop our chin to chest again. Let's do some neck half circles here. So let's go ahead, take right ear to right shoulder, chin back to chest, and then left ear to left shoulder. And taking this from side to side. Half neck circles here. But let's go ahead and drop our chin to chest, lift our head center, roll the shoulders back and roll that forward. Very nice. Let's take our hands, place our fingers towards our inner thigh, kind of lean ourselves forward and go around that spine. So take your chin to your chest, round your back, hollowing out that belly. Hands are right there on our, th on our thighs. And then let's go ahead and open this up. So our hands kind of stay on those thighs and our chest opens. So little tiny cat and cow here. So rounding and opening, and we'll do it bigger in a moment with our hands behind us, but just doing some rounding and opening here to start to warm up that back, warm up that the spine, continuing to warm up the shoulders and the neck, rounding that and arching that. Good, bring that back to neutral, sit that up very tall, Let's go ahead, inhale, sweep our arms up. So we've got our sun breath and exhale it out. And inhale it up and exhale it out. And inhale it up. This time as we exhale, let's go ahead, either clasp our hands at the back of our chair or clasp our hands together behind us and opening up that chest. Ooh. And then look to the right. And go ahead and look to the left. And head back to neutral. Good, drop our chin to chest. And then bring that head center. Bend at our elbows, hands over to our right waist, and let's squeeze that elbow back. Opening shoulder, still with that neck. And even here, if you want, you can look, you can be looking to the right and to the left. If you've got a lot of tension in your neck and shoulders today, 
just these movements, these simple movements, or even if it feels okay to take your chin to your chest, just moving that. And then let's go ahead and switch sides. So taking that to the left side, elbow goes back, stretching through that shoulder, the chest muscle, the pecs. And again, you can be looking from side to side, dropping that down, or you can be still, it's up to you. And whatever is going on with your body, listening to your body. And then go ahead and release that, shake that out. Inhale and sweep it up. And exhale it out. Inhale and sweep this up. As we exhale, let's drop our left hand to our right thigh. And right hand, you can either grab the top of the chair or you can grab the seat of the chair. Just holding that to use as leverage for a little bit of twist. So first baby twist. We're going to do deeper twists here in a few moments. But just a nice twist here. And beginning to use that breath, feeling that breath down deep in the belly. And bring that back to center. Inhale and sweep this up. As we exhale, let's drop our right hand to our left thigh. And left hand is either going to reach for the top of that chair or the seat of the chair. Still, oh, oh, oh just that baby twist. Good, bring this back to center. Let's inhale, sweep it up. Clasp our hands, exhale and press our palms towards the ceiling. Let's lengthen up right here. So you've got that nice tall torso, tall spine, tall arms, and we'll add in our side breath. Let's inhale it deep and exhale, sigh it out. Two more times, inhale it deeply and exhale, sigh it out. One more time, inhale it deeply and exhale, sigh it out. Good, Bring our arms out in front of us, clasp, or not, unclasp our hands and let's rotate wrists and rotate the other way. Good, opening up our arms so that we see our arms in our peripheral, so they're not way back here. They're kind of out in a, in a really wide V. Take our palms up, make some fists, roll those fists in, and then do an exaggerated bicep curl and seated cat and cow. So let's go ahead and open this here. So arching that back, and then let's go ahead and round that spine, elbows together. Let's inhale and open. Exhale and round. Inhale and open. Exhale and round. Inhale and open. Exhale and round. And back to neutral. Open the arms, open the hands. You can press those palms down, roll our shoulders, sweep our arms up again, but this time let's keep our arms up and let's take our legs over to the right side of the chair. Arms are lifted and let's go ahead and take our hands and reach for the ooh, back of the chair and use the leverage of the seat of the chair for a spinal twist right here. So nice, deep seated spinal twist. Let's breathe it three times here. Let's go ahead and inhale it. And exhale it out. Again, inhale deeply. And exhale it out. And one more time, big deep inhale. And exhale that out. Wonderful. Bring this back to center. Take our legs back to center. Let's sweep our arms up and then take our legs to the left. So left side. Reaching our arms up nice and high. Let's go ahead and take those hands and reach for the back of the chair. And use the leverage of the back of the chair for that spinal twist right here. And breathe. Inhale it deeply. And exhale it out. And big deep inhale. And exhale. And one more time, big deep inhale. And exhale it out. Great. Good. Let's go ahead and bring our legs back to center. Shake that out. Roll our shoulders out. And grab your blocks, if you're using blocks, and place them where you want them for our seated sun salutations. So 
that's where we're going next. So we're still kind of center of the chair or front edge of the chair. Let's inhale and sweep our arms up nice and big. And then exhale, dive it down and over. And if you need a blanket or pillow between your belly and thighs, always feel free to use that. We've got ourselves in our nice forward fold. Hands are right there on our blocks. Let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen through through that spine, lengthen through those arms. And then exhale and release. Inhale and lengthen. And exhale and release. Inhale and lengthen. And exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up big. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Let's hold here. We can exhale while we're holding and let's go ahead and press our right hand into that right block, or if you're not using blocks, you can have your hand on your shin or on the floor if you've got that flexibility, but we've got that hand, right hand pressed into that block. And let's go ahead and take our left hand to our lowest rib. So let's start off low first. Don't worry, we'll do this two more times after this. So you'll get to open up that shoulder, but let's just start off by opening up that torso and that's getting some back stretching here. And then go ahead and release that back into that forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, hold this here. Press our right hand back into that block. And this time let's open with that arm. So opening up, lifting that open. Maybe your mobility will let you lift. Maybe you're halfway, just listening to your body. And maybe the, the next time around, you might be able to go a little further because that's what we're doing here is warming, warming and waking, waking up that body, warming up those joints. Good, release that back into that forward fold. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Let's hold this lengthening. You can exhale while we're here. One more time for this side. So go ahead and press that right hand back into that block. And let's lift that left arm open. Oh. And breathe. Good. Release that and relax. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Hold this here. It's a nice long torso, long arms. And let's take it with right hand on block, or left hand on block, right hand on that lowest rib. Oh, let's open to the right. Good. And breathe. And then release that back into that forward fold. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Hold this here. Left hand's going to press into that left block again. And this time, let's see if we can open up that right arm. Maybe that shoulder's mobile enough. Maybe not. It's okay. Just going where your mobility will let you go. And if one side feels not as mobile or tighter than the other, that's okay. That is pretty normal. And then go ahead and release that and relax. Inhale and lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Good, holding this here. Press through that left hand one more time and let's lift that right arm up. 
That's one of the reasons why we do yoga is to try and work on getting the same amount of mobility on each side of our body. Because in normal life, we normally don't do the same thing on each side of our body. Like I'm gonna pick up the glass with this hand and then I'm gonna pick up the glass with this hand and then I'm gonna put the glass down with this hand. So yoga is our one time in our day when we are focusing on both sides of the body equally. Good, go ahead and release that, relax. Relax that head and neck. Ooh, that was feeling that. Inhale and lengthen and exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through arms and spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's hold here, hands to heart. Sit ourselves up even taller. So really, really, really sit up tall. Super, super, super good lengthening. Inhale it here. As we exhale, let's hinge at those hips and do a seated spinal twist. Let's go to the right today for first. So let's take our left elbow oh, over to that right thigh. Oh, and spinal twist that and breathe that. Press those hands in together. You can feel that back rib cage. Feel the lungs just expanding that with your breath. And bring this back to center. Inhale, big sweep up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep those arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Sit up tall. Super tall. Inhale deeply. Let's hinge it and exhale and twist it to the left. So right elbow is trying to get over to that left thigh. Oh, that feels good. Seated spinal twist on this other side. We're going to do this um, one more time on each side. It's a good one. Good spinal twist today. And if you aren't doing it this time around, the next time, if you're able to look up to the ceiling, if you're able to do some neck rotation here, maybe take those eyes, look up to the ceiling, or look up to that back elbow that's up in the air, that'll be some good, good for your neck, good for your spine. Good, bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Sit up tall. Big deep breath, inhale. And let's exhale, hinge and twist to the right. So let's do this again. Seated spinal twist. And maybe you're able to look. That's how I, when I know my neck is tight, always looking at that elbow, that top elbow. Oh, and breathe. This is inversion now, too, if you are able to be looking up at the ceiling or up at that top elbow. Because your head is now lower than your heart. If you're able to drop it. Good, bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Up tall. Inhale here. And let's exhale, hinge. Let's take it to the other side. And again, if you're able, looking at that top elbow or the ceiling and breathing. And I've been coming up fast after this. So if you need to take your time to come up slow, because yes, your head is low now. So if you were like, I get too dizzy, coming up fast, it's okay. Take your time. Let's go ahead and bring the center. Inhale and sweep that up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep. 
and release our arms to our sides. Very nice. Good. Let's roll those shoulders back and let's get our lower body. So still not sitting against the back of the chair yet. We're going to go into our staff pose, then our leg extension and leg curl. So let's find our staff pose. One of the most difficult ones. Let's flex through those feet, sitting it up tall. We're not using the back of the chair. If that's available to you, if you have to use it, that's okay. Lengthen up through this and we've got our staff pose. Three breaths here, inhale it and exhale it. And inhale and exhale. And one more time, inhale deeply and exhale it out. Good, release our arms, feet are super duper flexed. Let's hamstring curl it in and then leg extension out. There's eight, curl it in and extend. There's seven, curl it in and extend. There's six, curl it in and extend. There's five, curling it in and extend, there's four, keep those feet flexed, curl that in, and extend, there's three, curl this in, and extend, there's two, curl this in, and extend, that's one. Go ahead and point those toes, flex those feet, point those toes, flex those feet. It's really easy to start to round and sink into this. Keep yourself tall, point your toes, flex your feet, point your toes, Flex your feet and release. Good, shake that out. Very nice. Let's go ahead and we can now sit ourselves against the back of the chair and we can bring that right leg in. So go ahead and bring our right leg in. Give our right leg a nice big hug, hug that in. And let's wrap that left arm around that right leg and twist it to the side and breathe. and then twist it towards the inside. So to the left. And bring this back to center. Good, all right, piriformis time. So let's do that figure four, hip flexor, that ankle or the blade of that foot right there on that thigh. Let's sit it up nice and tall and begin to hinge that forward finding right where those um, the shoulders start to round. So you wanna keep your back nice and lengthened, leading with that chest, hinging that so that you get it right in that hip flexor, that hip crease area on that right side. Good, let's sit it up tall against the back of the chair. Inhale deeply. As we exhale, hinge it forward right to, right before your shoulders start to round. Use that breath to maybe help get some mobility there to help get some movement, some space. Good, inhale up tall and exhale hinge. Inhale it up tall and exhale hinge. Inhale it up tall and exhale hinge. And one more time, inhale it up tall and exhale, let's hinge. Good, maybe holding this here just a breath or two longer. Oh yeah. And then we can release that. Good, let's take it into, um, Shoelace, I have the picture in my mind, but not the word. So shoelace, so heel is right there on that the left corner of the chair. Let's wrap that left arm back around that right leg and oh, big twist, big twist to the right. And then big twist to the left. and bring this back to center. Let's go ahead and do some eagle legs. So scoot ourselves forward, just to work on some uh, wrapping here. 
And if you can, if you're able to work on wrapping that foot around, or you are going to glue that blade to that outer ankle. So we are squeezing here, trying to get both of our glutes centered into the chair. Let's add in our arms. So our right leg is over our left leg. Let's take our arms out. Let's take our right arm over our left. Let's wrap that here. And then either backs of the hands together, or you can do that full eagle. And let's go ahead and breathe it here. So let's inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And inhale it deeply and exhale it out. Good. So going to open that up, release that down. And we can uncross that leg and shake that out. And we've got ourselves scooted forward because we needed to, to, to cross that. So we're going to find ourselves in our staff pose once again. So let's lengthen through our legs. Three breaths in our staff pose. Let's inhale here and exhale it out. And again, deep inhale here and exhale it out. One more time, big deep inhale and exhale it out. Good, release our arms. Let's go ahead and curl that in, flex through our feet and extend. Let's curl and extend and curl and extend. Let's curl this in and extend. Curl this in and extend. We're gonna do four more. Curl this in and extend. Curl this in and extend. Two more. Curling it and extending it. One more. Curl and extend. Hold that extension. Go ahead and point the toes. Flex the feet. Point the toes. Flex the feet. Point the toes. Flex the feet. And release. Oh, good. Shake that out. Very nice. Okay, let's sit up against the back of a chair. Hug that leg in, give that a nice big hug. Okay. Good, wrap our right arm around that leg and let's twist that to the left. And breathing, not forgetting that breath. And then twist it towards the inside. And then go ahead and bring that back to center. Good. All right, piriformis, figure four on this side, taking that ankle to that thigh, sit that up tall, finding our hinge where right before our shoulders start to round. So finding where that's going to be at for you today. Some days are different, or it's just always the same. <laughs> and breathe. Good, let's sit it up tall against the back of the chair. We'll add in that breath and that movement. So let's inhale deeply here and exhale, hinging forward, leading with the chest. Inhale it up tall and exhale, hinge. Inhale it up tall and exhale, hinge. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. We're going to do one more time. Inhale it up tall. And let's exhale, hinge that. Good. And I'm holding in that hinge, but keep breathing. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Um, very nice. And then release that. Let's take it into shoelace. So that heel, left heel is going to go to the right corner of the chair. Let's wrap our right arm back around that left leg and get that wonderful stretch right there on that hip, that glute, hip flexor, IT band, breathing in this twist. And then let's go ahead and twist it towards the inside. So to the right. and bring us back to center, scooch yourself forward. So let's go into Eagle. So crossing that, and you can either glue this 
to the outside or begin to wrap that and try and get both of our glutes into the chair. Left leg is over our right leg. So let's take our arms out. Left arm is gonna go over our right. Right there, good. And then either back to the hands together or doing that wrap. And let's go three breaths in this eagle pose. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And inhale it deeply and exhale it out. Good, good. Um, do those arms, release that, and then undo the legs. Good. Let's take ourselves over to the left side of our chair. Scoot this forward. And we will go into our supported crescent. So we've got our right leg out, got our left leg behind us. Back heel is lifted. So this is a crescent. It would be just like you would do a crescent you didn't have the chair underneath you, you've got this nice tall lunge, 90 degree angle, knees over that front ankle, back leg, heel is lifted, and we can reach this up. Get this very, very good lengthening and supportive pose and stretch. If you really press, because you have the support of the chair, you can really press through our back toes and through that back heel and get a good calf stretch. Let's go ahead and drop that um, right hand to the right side of the chair and reach this over and breathe. Good, let's go ahead and windmill that arm to the hip, other arm comes to the other hip and a twist here. A little torso twist, spinal twist. And then bring that back to center. Let's go ahead and give that right leg the entire seat of the chair. Take our left leg off to the side. So now we'll do more of a lateral stretch. Let's lengthen up through the arm. So now we're in like what we would do on the ground, a gate pose. Got that gate. But we've got a uh, pigeon leg, front pigeon leg. So we've got that leg off to the side. Let's go ahead and drop that right hand again to the right side of the chair and reach this over and get that wonderful side stretch and breathe. And windmill that arm down and reach that arm. and then release it. And then we'll take it into that pigeon. So supported pigeon. So we're gonna square our hips forward. Back heel is lifted just like it was for our crescent leg. Let's reach this up and you can reach it up center or if you wanna lean it back slightly, you can get a little back bend in right here and then forward fold. So your forward fold, you are, are either on your hands, you are on your elbows, or you can be folding all the way forward. I like to use a block for support and breathe. If you want to challenge yourself though, I know I keep telling myself, I need to take the block away to challenge myself. You can do that, but I want to, I want to keep you the block. <laughs> Just listening to your body and keeping that back leg, that back leg kind of tends to want to be like, okay, don't let it relax, keep that active too. Press into the toes, lifting that heel, breathing. Good, let's press ourselves up, make ourselves center. Let's take that right leg off to the side and we will find our supported warrior legs. So now we're gonna be in our nice supported warrior two. So front leg is off to the side, back leg is back, arms are out and a nice warrior two. And if you were to look at it here, you could see that that front heel, so that right heel is lined up with the arch of your back leg, just like it would be if you didn't have that chair here. 
just like it would be in your regular warrior two, but you have the support of the chair so that you can work on that pose even deeper. Let's go ahead, drop our back arm, take our palm up, peaceful warrior reach. And then from here, let's take it to a side angle pose. So arm goes to the thigh, other arm comes over. A nice side angle. Let's take it from this side angle and go right into a reverse warrior again. So just reaching through that. We're gonna do this kind of windmilling a couple more times. So we're in this nice reverse warrior. And then let's take it into a side angle again. So taking that over side angle, not forgetting to breathe. Windmill into that reverse warrior again. And then one more time into this side angle. Good, take that to the side. I don't know about you, but even in this with the supported like this, my hip and quad still burn. Good, let's open this back up and then release this down. Very nice. Let's take it to the other side. So now we've got our left leg on the right side of the chair. We've got our left leg in that nice 90 degree angle. And we've got our back leg behind us, toe pressed into the floor, heel lifted, and supported crescent. Reach up through this. Very strong here. Let's go ahead and drop that left hand to the left side of the chair and reach that over. And take the hand to the torso and twist. And then bring that back to center. Good. Let's go ahead and give that left leg the chair. Take our right leg off to the side. And let's lengthen here in that gate pose. The leg is off to the side, lengthening up center. Oh, very good. And then let's go ahead and drop that left hand again to the left side of the chair and reach this over. You can get that wonderful side stretch here. And then let's go ahead and switch that to reach. And let's release that, turn it into that pigeon. So back heel lifted, back leg is active. Let's reach up through this and you can reach straight up or you can get that slight back bend here. And then forward fold it. So either on the hands, on the elbows or all the way forward but keeping that back leg active. Keeping the back toe pressed into the floor, back heel lifted, leg awake, back leg is awake. And then front leg goes back up and reach, 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 reach. Wonderful. And then release that. Let's take that left leg off to the side and we'll find our warrior two on this side. And again, if you wanna look for your alignment, that heel, left heel is nicely lined up with that right foot arch. And let's relax our face. Arms are strong, proud warrior. The 
Let's drop that back arm. Take your palm up. Peaceful warrior. Reach. And then let's take this to side angle. So arm's going to go right to that thigh. Other arm comes over, bicep. It's resting right on the temple. Breathe. And let's go ahead and reach to that peaceful warrior, reverse warrior. And side angle again, reach. And reverse warrior one more time, reach. And side angle last time, and reach. Good, and then back up into Proud Warrior. Wonderful. And then release that, very nice. Keeping our legs wide, let's do a little bit more hip opener. So let's take our blocks to the inside of the feet. Let's press our right hand into that right block and open this up. That's very good. And then go ahead and release that left hand down to that block. And let's twist this open. Other side to the right. Good. And release that. And let's bring our legs together. Bring ourselves forward. You can place those blocks where you want them because we're going to be standing up. We'll be doing our first standing forward fold. So let's inhale, sweep our arms up, dive it down and over, belly resting on those thighs. Hands are on our blocks. Let's press our feet into the floor and we're going to lift our glutes up off of our chair. Let's go ahead and lift that up in our nice full standing forward fold. And you can drop that head forward. So maybe nod that head or shake that head. Just letting the backs of the legs stretch out here. Let's inhale, press into those blocks, lengthen through our arms, lengthen through our back, a nice tabletop. And then exhale, release. Good. Take a seat back on the chair. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Hands right there to those blocks. Let's lift our glutes up off the chair, standing forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Take a seat back on the chair. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Hands back to blocks. Take our glutes up off the chair. Standing forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Take a seat back on the chair. Last time like this. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Go ahead and take our glutes up off the chair. Nice standing forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Good, stay in the standing forward fold. Inhale, sweep our arms up. So sweeping this up nice and tall. Cactus our arms back as we exhale. Inhale and lift. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale and lift. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale and lift. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up, but no cactus this time. We're just going to exhale, release our arms to our sides. Good. Very nice. Let's go ahead. Because we did eagle earlier, let's do a supported full eagle. So we'll do, and you can have this, the chair, or if it's easier for you, you can always come against the wall too. We're going to go ahead 
and do a supported eagle here. So we're gonna go ahead and let's take a seat. So we'll take it into a nice seated pose. We're gonna take our right leg over our left and then you can either glue that foot or wrap. So we found our eagle legs right here and you can lift that right arm up if you wanna work on that balance. That's why I said if you want, if you need to use the, the wall for a shoulder here, you can do that if you need to use the wall for a shoulder. Otherwise, you can begin to work on that. Let's see, our right arm is over our left and wrap, yes. And we'll breathe it here, two breaths. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And one more time, big deep inhale. And exhale it out. And you can uncross and uncross. And shake that out. Oh, lower leg burns. Very good. Let's sweep our arms up nice and big. Dive it down and over. Standing forward. Oh, yes. Let that stretch. And then go ahead and roll this up one vertebrae at a time. Roll our shoulders back. Good. And you can move the chair if you need to, or you can move yourself on the wall if you're using the wall. We're going to take it to the other side. So let's go ahead and take ourselves into a seated pose. Let's cross that leg over and wrap. And then work on, <laughs> one side might be harder than the other, work on wrapping the arms. So that left arm is on top. And we've got the eagle right here. And once you've found that, let's go ahead and do two breaths. Inhale it. And exhale it out. And inhale it again. And exhale it out. Good. And across that and release that, shake that out. Since we're doing so well with the, with the, the balance, let's go tree. And you'll find that the tree will probably feel a lot simpler because that eagle is very advanced. It's a lot. So let's go ahead, press through our left foot and let's find, and remember, if you know that you can only go this high on this side and this high on this side, remember just to go this high. So you go to where the other side, you don't wanna be off balance. Um, so be respectful of the strength of both sides of your body. Respect your other side of the body. So let's go ahead and find where that's going to be. So where your foot is going to be for your tree pose and hands can be to heart, they can be above. If you really liked the wrapping, you can go ahead and wrap too in a tree pose. If you want to wrap your arms, you can do that too. If that wrapping felt good for your shoulders and your back, just finding that, maybe finding a focus point and breathing. We're gonna make it a little more challenging by turning this into a half step. So we're gonna bring that leg forward, flex through that foot, and now we found ourselves in a half step. And then let's go ahead and release that leg down next to the other one. And now we're in a nice mountain. So inhale it up and exhale, dive it down and over. Oh, the packs of my leg. So liking this. Good. Let's go ahead and roll that up. That tree is a piece of cake next to Eagle. So let's find ourselves the other side. So finding our tree pose on the other side of the body. And if you wrapped your hands on the other side, then go ahead and wrap it on this side. Remember, we want balance. We want it to be equal. Just the same amount of strength on both sides of the body. And then remember trying to get that leg just like the other side. Because we're working against imbalance. We're trying to bring ourselves into balance, not I am in balance, in balance. You want to be in balance and breathe. And these balance poses are so good. So good for so many things. 
Another breath or two here. And we're going to challenge ourselves into that half staff. So bringing that leg forward. And if you can, bring those arms up. Finding that nice half staff. And then bringing that leg strongly down next to the other one for a mountain pose. Inhale and lift. Exhale, drive it down and over. And then go ahead and roll that up and roll our shoulders back. Let's take ourselves down onto our backs and we'll go into uh, our shoulder stand and then our final relaxation. So grab whatever you need for final relaxation. Grab a block for our shoulder stand and we're gonna use our chair because we're gonna have our legs up on the chair. Let's take those legs up on the chair, scoot ourselves forward. And it, yeah, grab whatever you need for final relaxation. If you have a, a pillow, regular pillows, blankets, eye pillow, whatever you need. But we've got our legs up on the chair. Let's go ahead and take that block right under the sacrum for support as we take ourselves into our supported shoulder stand. Our palms are out and up. And then let's go ahead, when you're ready, lifting those legs up. And we'll keep it here a few moments. Let's keep it here for about eight breaths, an eight breath cycle. So let's inhale it and exhale it. And inhale it deeply and exhale it. Inhale it and exhale. Inhale it deeply and exhale. We got five more breaths. Inhale it deeply and exhale it. And inhale and exhale. Three more breaths. Inhale it deeply. And exhale. And inhale deeply. And exhale out. And one more breath. Inhale it deeply. And exhale it out. Good. And then we can go and release the leg. Release the other leg. Very nice. Ah. While we're here, let's go ahead and take our right ankle, place it on left thigh, go ahead and press, press that hip away. Right hip gets pressed away. Good. And then release that, release that leg. Take it to the other side. Left ankle goes to that right thigh. Press that inner left thigh away. And then release that. Wonderful. And you can take that block up from underneath you. You can put that chair away and grab what you need for final relaxation. You've got that eye pillow, regular pillow blankets. And we'll move ourselves into that well-deserved relaxation. Let's lengthen through the body on the floor. You can place that eye pillow over your eyes, allowing the heaviness, the darkness. Reach through our fingers towards one end of the room. Reach through the feet, the toes the heels towards the other end of the room. Nice long body, inhale it deeply here. And with an exhale, allow yourself to sink, to settle, let those feet fall over you. Relax that jaw. Relax the face. Relax that entire body is quieting everything, slowing everything down.
and relaxing, let's go ahead and bend our knees and tuck our tailbone under, let that low back press into it. And let's drop those knees over to your most comfortable side and take yourself onto your side into the fetal position in a breath or two here. Nice and slow, begin to press yourself up. I need a seated pose that feels strong and supportive for you. Sitting yourself up tall, lengthening up through that spine. Oh, I'm enjoying the stretch in the front of my legs right now. That feels really good for my feet. Oh, let's inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our palms together and let's go drop those hands, eyes following our fingers, take our chin to chest. Let that head to center and take our fingers. As we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth. Take our fingers to our lips. As we leave today, let us speak words of love. Take our hands to our hearts. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth and a light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and of sound and peaceful mind. Inhaling deeply. And big cleansing exhale. Let's do one more deep breath like that. Big deep inhale. 